Okay, guys, we're going to do drug multi class classification with XG Boost. We're going to make this model production ready. We're going to invoke a single prediction as well as predict the whole data frame. And we're going to deploy a default mon model monitor. And with the deployment, is, uh, de default is data capture configuration. And then we're going to get some basic constraints. Okay, so after you get your execution role, make your bucket, import the data, do a label encoder to get rid of all the, turn them all into numbers. Okay, train and test data, split, PD concat equals, train data, drug, drug, just the usual, same thing for your test data. Content type CSV. Okay, XGBoost latest. Containers. Okay, now here's the one thing that's different. This all depends on your data set, but when you're doing multi class, not binary, you want to name it multi softmax. Fit the train and validation channels. As you can see, this had very little error. Less than a percent. That was a validation set. Okay, now here's what I was talking about with data capture configuration request, response, text CSV. Sampling percentage. This is to make it production ready. Okay, we're going to make a prediction on the data frame before we make a single prediction. Print predictions. Okay, so drug equals what I put in the columns. You know, the age, sex. All that, and then um, the thing to drug that thing. Okay, and then your endpoint name drug body equals this response body read decode universal print result. Yeah, that would have been drug Y, which is four by the label encoder. Okay. Okay, this is to get our baseline constraints. Okay, so you name your monitor, monitor's name, whatever you want with stripe time. Put it right here. Suggested constraints run hourly. Okay. Get your basic things. And then, as you can see, No executions yet. When there is an execution, you can just do this. And it'll tell you what's going on. Okay, guys. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you.